managerial accounting, setting prices, going to the market first, and then seeing if you can produce it for under the, des the desired price. So I'm going to go out and ask the public what they are willing to pay for a new product or service or a very, very obsolete product or service. And so we're setting the price based upon the market's demand. Now we're going to be looking at uh, target costing, sometimes also known as target pricing. And uh, we're going to use exercise 10 as an example here. Under exercise 10, we are going to be making a new fireplace screen. Doesn't this sound fabulous? And I bet it's energy efficient and green and all those things. So what we need to do first is survey the market. And the market, it has been determined that they're willing to pay $90 for the new fireplace screen. So to find the targeted cost, you always take the sales price, which we said was $90, divided by 100% of the cost plus the desired markup. So, for example, in this problem it says that it is our custom to price a product for 25% above cost. Now, here's where students mess it up terribly. They say, oh, so 25%. All I have to do is take 25% 20, of this and that's the amount of the profit. No, 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 no. What the prof the, what you have to do instead is you're going to take 100% of cost plus 25% of cost, or in other words, 125%, and divide that into 90 to get the target cost. So in this case, the target cost, 90 divided by 125%, is $72. Now we'll go to production and the engineers and say, can you produce this fabulous new fireplace screen for less than the targeted cost of $72? So the engineers and the production guys go back and we say, hmm, how much does it cost me to make it? Well, in the problem, exercise 10, it says that there are direct materials involved in making this fireplace screen. That costs $15, so that's a relevant cost. There is direct labor that has to do with the manufacturing, and it says it's going to take me 1.2 hours, and I pay the guys $12 an hour to manufacture these fireplace screens. So 1.2 times $12 says we've got direct labor costs for manufacturing of $14.40. Also, we have another direct labor cost for assembly. And it says that it takes me 1.5 hours to assemble these fireplace screens. And I pay the assembly workers $10 an hour. So that would be $15 per fireplace screen. Also, we have overhead. And we use activity-based costing in this particular problem. So we have a variety of overhead items. So the first activity is material handling. And it says that to make these fireplace screens, that we take the cost of the materials, which we said was 15, and we're going to multiply it by $1.30. So the material handling cost is $19.50 to make these fireplace screens. We also have overhead that relates to production, and it says that the, the rate is $3 for every uh, machine hour. And in the problem, it says there's two machine hours in every fireplace screen. So production overhead costs are $6. And finally, we have product delivery costs incurred. And it says that product delivery costs are $5.50 per unit. So if I total this up, what is the cost of making a fireplace screen? Well, it's $75.40. We compare that $75.40 of cost, and if it is greater than 
the target cost, we say no way. And why do we say no way? Because our cost exceeds our target and we wouldn't make the desired profit we want, would we? So it is not time to go to market yet with this fireplace screen.